Hello, everybody. I know it takes a few seconds for it to show on, on the stream itself. How is everybody today? I don't know if it's going to show this part, but we'll see. <laughs> I just want to wait a while, make sure nobody misses what I'm saying. I don't know why it takes so long. Crazy. Crazy. Is it on? Okay. But where is it showing? Is it showing like way back or? <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. How are you? I uh, see Estelle's join us. Johan, 11 Ruant, Ronaldo. Hello, Ronaldo. I thought you were tired, man. You need to go get some rest. Um, 11 Ruan says, pretty good, Laura, how are you? I'm okay. Um, I've had a pretty hectic day. Today was debt collection calls. So, um, there's some really rude people out there. Just like, let me lay it out there. If somebody phones you for money that you owe, um, don't be rude to the person who's phoning you. They're just doing their job, just FYI. <laughs> On that subject. <laughs> <laughs> so um okay oh Ronald says I am just saying hi okay awesome well enjoy your evening Ronaldo get some lack of rest um and send my love to Lauren thank you thank you thank you okay so guys after my stream on Sunday this is sort of like a little bit of a follow-up it's not going to be a long stream because I normally do a video on a Wednesday um and I get up really early in the morning now so I'm not going to stream for very long so tonight we're going to focus on how to dress for an interview. So it's still a how-to video, but this is how to dress for an interview. So I have lined up a couple of pictures. So what we were talking about on Sunday, 11 Ruan says, tell them to stop being poor and pay their bills. Exactly. And I mean, you know, the whole thing is if the car's not right, then bring it back so that we can fix whatever's wrong. And I mean, this one chick was complaining Oh, apparently the, there was bread left under the bonnet and the rats went in her car and ate the wires in her car. But um, there's no ways that my mechanics left bread in the bonnet because we wash the car when we are done. So if it was my guys, then um, that bread would have been soggy and wet and been sprayed with a high pressure hose out of there anyway. Not to mention the guys don't eat by the cars. But anyway. Let's not go there. Okay, so, so today we're going to talk about how to dress for an interview because there is specific ways to dress. You can't just dress however you feel. So yes, obviously you need to look smart. And, sorry, and um, you need to look presentable. Uh, Willem Vickelsby says, "Cut it short. If you collect vehicle finance, just say pay or walk." Yeah, we don't have, we don't do the whole vehicle finance thing, I'm afraid. <laughs> Marion says, amazing that there are issues when it's time to pay. Yeah. And the best part is this one chicky, um, she's not poor. And we battled to get money out of her daughter. And she got her daughter to pay. And then when it came time for her to pay, now it's issues. Now we've been waiting a year for her to pay. But anyway. Okay. So... And and when when he was saying to her about when she asked if she could pay the money off, he turned around. She turned around and said, "I'm not my daughter. I will pay my bills." And meanwhile, it's a year later, she hasn't paid a cent towards it. But anyway, so yeah. So tonight we're going to talk about um, what to wear for an interview. So, like for example, I was chatting to my boss today, and he said, "You know, he had in, he was interviewing people for a cleaning position, and he said the one lady came all." tarts it up and with long beautiful nails and you know now let me just put it this way if you interviewing a cleaning lady you're not going to hire somebody who has magnificent manicured nails and time and, and money put into her nails and um hi chris wyatt thank you for joining us yes and clothes yes so you know you if you're going for a cleaning position, you dress appropriately. So you would dress 
in clothes you would basically wear to clean. If you are going into the corporate world, then you would obviously need to dress a bit smarter. Then you would need to wear a suit, a tie, um, either a plain shirt or a slight or a shirt with small pinstripe, not big pinstripe. And the biggest, biggest thing which they say is a definite don't when you're going for an interview is to not wear bright colors. It seems very strange, but the thing is you don't want to distract the interviewer. So even um, eyeshadow with glitter or, you know, very plain, very basic, but appealing, like good, good, clean appearance. So I've got a couple of things here. Because obviously, depending on, on the job interview you're going for, you're either going to wear like a smart casual, you're going to wear business smart, and you know, that, that sort of thing. So let's look at the first one. So the first one here, it will be your smart casual. Okay. So if we're looking at the smart casual, for men, basically, you would wear a neutral button down shirt. No jackets or ties needed. So this is for smart casual, guys. So you wouldn't wear a proper full-on suit, okay? You'll wear casual leather or suede shoes. Anything you wear to the gym is a no-go. So no tackies, no slops, um, no sandals, that sort of thing. You will always wear closed shoes to an interview, okay? And with regards to your pants, neutral colored chinos are perfect. While jeans look good, some companies frown upon them for interviews. Better safe than sorry. So, yeah, so for a smart casual look, you can wear a pair of chinos instead of wearing a suit. And um, a button-down shirt, not a T-shirt. So you'd wear a button-down shirt, but no jackets or no ties needed. And for the ladies, you would wear a neutral blouse or top with mild patterns are good. So again, you don't want something too in your face, too colorful, too vibrant, just mild. Mild, but pretty and smart. And obviously, ladies, if you're wearing a blouse or something or a top or something like that, no boobs should be shown, okay? No, don't show any cleavage um, or, or anything like that. Make sure it's buttoned up high enough, but not too high. You know, make sure it looks smart. Okay, with regards to pants, you can wear neutral colored pants, chinos or corduroys are great. No need to get too fancy. Stay away from blue jeans. Okay, ladies, so none of these tight, stretchy jeans, you're not going to wear that to an interview, even if it is a casual interview. Then on your shoes, you'll wear casual heels or ballet flats if you want to save your feet. Okay, the next thing we will talk about is business casual. Okay, so this is your business casual. So for men, like this is if you're going for a business kind of position, like managerial or, you know, something like that. If you can't see the picture very well, I have put the link in the description below for this web page. So you can click on the link and you can come in and have a look at this entire web page, read up nicely. Um, you know, so thanks very much. This is cultivatedculture.com. So you can come in here and you can come and have a look and read everything nicely. So your business casual men, you don't need a tie for business casual outfits. An open collar is totally fine. So this is for your smaller admin positions like customer service advisor or, you know, somewhere where you know it's not a completely corporate world. Um, your shirt would be a neutral button down. So in other words, a plain plain color or small pinstripe, and dress it up with a sweater or a sport coat if you want to. Your chinos would be, again, colored chino, neutral colored chinos or slacks. Avoid jeans as some companies find upon them again. Your shoes, you'll want to up your game with leather dress shoes here. So for as soon as you go into the business side, you'll go into your smarter shoes, okay? For the ladies, a tailored neutral colored blouse, add a blazer or sweater to spice things up. So again, plain colors, no big in your face, vibrant or anything like that. 
For pants, you'd wear tailored dress pants or the move. Go for a neutral color and avoid denim again. Your shoes, you can wear comfortable pumps or fancy flats are perfect. Okay, so if you have a look in all of these pictures, you can see that none of them actually say that you can wear open shoes. So for men and for ladies, it is not a good idea to wear open shoes to an interview. Okay, It'll, it's, it's better not to. Um, it just gives a cleaner, neater look, if you know what I mean. You don't want people to be looking at your toes. And like we said on Sunday in the stream as well, is they will look at your feet. They will look at your shoes. So don't think that they're not going to. Because I don't know if you've ever heard the saying, if you're looking at a businessman, look at his shoes. Um, we had a customer come in the other day in a Jaguar. So he looked like he had quite a bit of money. But I'll tell you what, his pants were scared of his shoes. That's another thing to be very, very, very careful of. So even though you have a smart outlay and a smart personality, make sure that your clothes are the correct size for you. If your clothes are not the correct size for you, that is going to cause a problem. If you're an extremely tall person, make sure that your pants go all the way down to your ankles. Okay, don't have them halfway up your shin because it looks terrible. It looks absolutely ridiculous. Okay, unless obviously for the woman you're wearing capris, but you wouldn't wear capris to an interview. Okay, so make sure that the clothes that you're wearing fits you properly. Okay, so you're going to wear your dress shoes. And now if you're wearing black shoes, please don't go and wear light blue socks or gray socks. Wear either, I would, I would say preferably wear black socks. If you're wearing like beige colored chinos, then you can go white socks or, a, or beige colored socks. So you've got to make sure that everything matches 100%. Okay. You don't look at yourself or ask somebody before you go. If there's only somebody there in the evening before you go, then dress into your attire in the evening and ask your wife or your husband, how do I look? But they need to be 100% honest with you and say to you, okay, okay, I don't feel that those socks match your shoes. Or I, don't, I think maybe the top's a little bit bright. Maybe you need to tone it down a little. And take it as constructive criticism. Because, you know, somebody who sees you dressing every day, they, need, they know the colors that suit you better. So if you know, for example, a blue top makes your eyes stand out, then wear a blue top. Okay, but as long as it's neutral and it's not vibrant and bright. Okay, Willem Vicklesby says, I resemble late Connery in dark navy suit, blue and white striped long sleeve shirt and curry cup tie, black shoes always polished. In fact, I look so smooth, I can slide uphill, too old for interviews. <laughs> That's awesome, Willem. <laughs> you sound very smart. In fact, you should, must, you should come onto our Telegram group and send us a photo. I'd love to see that. You sound like James Bond. Fantastic. Hello, Cilias. Thank you for joining us. Awesome to have you here. Okay, I think our next one is complete business. Uh, let me just go there. Yes, so this will be your formal business. So this is if you're going into the corporate, corporate world. So if you're going into a big, big company that is a huge company that is seriously corporate, like a lawyer's office or something like that, you will dress in business formal. So for men, you would have to wear a full suit, which means that you're breaking out a matching tie for the occasion. So if you're wearing a black suit, you have to wear, don't go and wear a, um, I don't think I changed it, sorry. Hold on. There we go, that's better. Okay, so if you're wearing a black suit, don't go and wear a red tie. It stands out too much. So you would basically wear a black suit with either a navy blue or a black tie. And you, oh, sorry, and you would wear a neutral colored shirt, okay? So you would preferably wear a white shirt so it stands out nicely. And again, I reiterate this from Sunday, please don't wear a grayed white shirt or a yellowed white shirt. If you are having an interview, make sure you have a crisp, clean white shirt. 
if you don't have a crisp, clean white shirt, then wear a different color. So let it either be an, like a light blue or something else, but don't go and wear a white shirt if you don't have a crisp, clean white piece. Okay, so it'll be formal attire, which means a matching tailored suit. So don't go and wear navy blue blazer and black trousers because that does not match. As well as your shoes would be polished leather dress shoes, okay, to tie the whole outfit together. For ladies, you'll go for a traditional suit, but keep it feminine. They have a lot of great options for women these days. So you can wear a nice, a nice formal suit, and you can actually wear a blouse underneath. You can wear one of those blouses that's got that little bit of lace at the top, which is very, very pretty. It's very, very feminine. So make it, even though it is a suit, you can make it extremely feminine. Okay, you'll also wear suit pants or slacks that match the top. Good color choices are black, navy, or gray. Okay, so for ladies, black, navy, or gray is your colors. For shoes, you can wear pumps, there is a, which is an option. But if, if heels kill your feet, you can wear ballet flats or loafers work too. Okay, so preferably heels if you can. What I like to do is because I um, because I can't wear heels all day. Um, if I wear heels all day, then my back kills me. I cannot wear heels all day. So <laughs> eleven runs says, "Was that a sheep?" Yes, that's my ringtone. I have a thing for sheep. I'm like sheep mad. Um. So yeah. So I. So what I do is I wear my flats on the way there, and before I go upstairs for my interview, before I leave my car, I change into my high heels. High heels just look prettier. They look more professional. But make sure it's closed-toed high heels. And make sure they are clean. So make sure you clean them before you leave the house. Or clean them the night before you put them in your car. Okay? Just make sure that whatever you're wearing is clean and tidy and ironed. There is nothing worse than going for an interview in trousers and it doesn't have an iron line down the middle. I'm very, very finicky when it comes to things like this. My jeans have to be ironed flat and my trousers must have the iron line down the middle for specific reasons because you want the, the iron line to be seen, okay? So I don't like it. Oh, hello, Lynn. Thank you for joining us. So you don't you don't want to have to wear trousers that don't have the ironing line down the middle of the front because you want them to see it. Okay. You want them to see that your trousers are ironed. You want them to see that you're smart, that you've taken time to prepare for this interview. Okay, my jeans, I don't do that because I don't like because it ends up with that. A line um, faded. So I don't do that with my jeans. My jeans are ironed flat. Um, sorry, I just want to drink some coffee here. Yeah? Okay, so just make sure that your attire as well matches the job interview that you're going for. Ladies, I don't recommend wearing a skirt. If you don't have trousers and you have a nice skirt suit, so like black, a black skirt with a black blazer and a white shirt would look absolutely professional for business formal. Um, but remember, your, your skirt must not be more than three fingers higher above the knee. Or it must be on the knee. No higher than that. Okay, the same as no cleavage to be shown, ladies. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, did everybody... Is everybody happy with all of the information? Just remember to keep it neat and keep it clean and make sure it's ironed, make sure it looks smart. And ladies, again, with your makeup, make sure it is bland makeup. So it must make you look appealing, but not overdone. Okay, if you look overdone, it looks terrible. The, the whole fashion with makeup has changed. In the old days, it used to be that your makeup was basically caked on your face. 
it is not like that anymore. The fashion these days is to actually have your freckles showing, your, you know, the, the things of your, of your face showing. Uh, Rhodesians will never sign dances or red. Or red what? Sorry, I'm, I'm lost in context here. Oh, so the other thing is no dark lipstick, ladies. So if, you, if you're going for an interview, rather choose like a neutral lipstick like this one here. It actually looks pretty dark in the tube, but when you put it on, see, this is this one. Um, but it's actually like a nudish color with like a shimmer to it. So wear something that is neutral and is not too bam in your face. So no bright red lipsticks for an interview, okay? Nothing dark, nothing in your face, and no glitter, eyeshadows, or anything like that. Remember, you can use illuminator instead of foundation. And now what illuminator does is it covers things like um, the smaller things that you wouldn't want people to see, but it actually highlights your freckles. Your freckles now are a huge fashion statement. Please don't cover up your freckles. They are beautiful. It is huge, huge fashion nowadays to have freckles. So don't cover them up. Okay. As well as ladies, I recommend if you're going for an interview, try and get your eyebrows dyed and, and waxed and everything. You know, show that, that you are smart. Show that you are, that you, if, look, my theory is if you have pride in your, in your appearance, you have pride in your work. If you show that you have pride in yourself, then nine times out of ten, um, a red shirt. Yeah, I see. I wouldn't wear anything too bright or vibrant. I honest. Oh, hello, Alta. Thank you for joining us. It's great to see you here. Thank you. You're a bit late, though. I'm almost finished with the stream. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Normally, Wednesdays is a very, very short video or stream. And then on Fridays, we do trivia quiz. And then Sundays, we do a inspirational stream. So what I thought is I'm going to focus for the next couple of weeks on is interviews and, and finding jobs because a lot of people are battling with this at the moment. So I just want to help people out um, on that subject. Okay. And I suppose my mug is actually quite for the whole interview subject. Listen to my mug. Ooh, I'm trying to find the camera. Be absolutely unstoppable. Okay. So that's it, everybody. Be absolutely unstoppable. And do me another favor, peeps. Okay. Don't stop looking. Remember, if you are waiting to hear back from another company, don't stop looking. Keep, keep looking. Okay. So that is basically it. If you have missed the rest of the stream, please go way back and watch it from the beginning so that you can see everything that we spoke about and see all the, the context and information. Thank you so much for all the new viewers for joining us. It's really great to have you here. Oh, Lynn is busy cooking dinner. Okay, <laughs> no worries. Um, so yes, please go back and have a look. But please remember, dress appropriately for the interview that you are going for. So if you're going for a cleaning position, don't go in formal clothes. Don't go with your nails all done nicely and, you know, because if you have nice clean, nice painted or manicured nails, the boss is going to think, okay, you are not going to be scrubbing my floors because you're not going to want to do that with your nails. So make sure that you are dressed appropriately for the interview if you are dressed inappropriately for the interview. But also remember, if you're going for a job that's kind of a casual, small company, if you go in business formal attire, they're going to think, okay, either this person is expecting a high salary or this, per this job is not high enough for this person. Okay, so remember, you have to dress according to the company and according to the interview. If I'm going for a mechanic position, I'm not going to go for the interview in business formal. I will go in over either overalls or jeans and a shirt. Okay. So just um, 
Rhodesians and everybody else is good for you, Laura. You're making a difference in our lives. I hope so, Lynn, because that's why I do this. This is my passion. Um, I don't do it for any other reason. Uh, Willem Beck Bicklesby says, can't find Femme Fitzholz there on Telegram. Um, Willem, if you look in the description below, you'll actually see the link there. If you click on the link, it should take you directly into the group. Okay. Um, Johan says, for cleaning position, dress in dirty overalls with a dirty face hat. No, not. If you yourself looks dirty, then you're not going to get hired to clean anything. So no, you mustn't be dirty. Or your clothes mustn't be dirty. Okay, awesome, everybody. Thank you so much. Um, don't forget, Friday night is the trivia finals. So we will have Ruan, Jane, Beth, and I keep forgetting the last, and Cilias. Is it Cilias? Yeah. Yes. So we're going to have Beth. Don't you greet newcomers, mods? Yes, you guys are terrible. Please greet the newcomers. Horrible, horrible. Yeah, that was my dog. <laughs> Ron says, ooh, poop. That was my dog. She decided to stretch here and decided, let me see if I can lift this up. I can show you. Look. Sheila, say hello. Sheila, say hello to everybody. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. That's my baby. Miss Farts a lot. It should have been her name. I tell you what, during lockdown, if lockdown lasted any longer, I would have been gassed out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. She's lazy, extremely lazy. But yes, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Um, thank you, Han, for welcoming Alta. Yes, so yes, it's Cilias. I thought so. So on Friday quiz, the, the finals, it's going to be Cilias, it's going to be Ruan, it's going to be Beth, and it is going to be Jane. They're joining us for the finals, and the trivia is going to be about Queen. So Ronaldo is our sponsor for and Ronaldo does set clothing. So if you haven't checked out stick set clothing yet, go and check out ww.secclothing.com. Go and check it out, and if you like something, buy it. So all of the all of all of the finalists have already have see, received their tech buffs, and then at the finals, Ronaldo is giving away quite a big prize, and we do this every month. So yeah, so Ronaldo is going to be joining us for the finals, and we're going to have fun. Whenever Ronaldo's on the stream, we have loads of fun. So next week Friday, this week Friday is is going to be a blast. So don't forget to join us at half past nine on Friday for the trivia. Thank you so much, everybody. And on Sunday, I will see you again for more interview and job recommendations. Have a great one. We will see you soon. Uh, Ruan says, I found out, what? I found out more about the queen. <laughs> she has corgis. Not that queen, Ruan. If you've been doing research, for the trivia, you're going to get it all wrong. <laughs> uh, Lazal says, wanted to say he has an interview on Friday. Oh, Cilias. Oh, that's so cool. Good luck, Cilias. I hope my streams are helping you and giving you some tips and hints. So good luck. I hope it all goes well. Please, Lazal, you must let me know how it goes. And you must let me know if you hear anything from the one you went to yesterday. Okay. Did you? What? You got the job. Where? Did she say that? Yes. Oh, yay. Well done, Lazelle. I'm so happy for you. That is fantastic news. I'm so pleased. Thank you. Congratulations, Lazelle. You deserve it. You really, really do. But you know what? As soon as you said to me it went well and they're going to phone you tomorrow, I thought, you've got the job. You've got the job. Awesome. Fantastic, my baby. I'm going to send you a message on Telegram. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. And thank you so much for joining Femme Fatal today. There goes my sheep again. And I will see you on Friday. Keep smiling. Hope the rest of the week is good. I gotta find my